Hey guys, YouTuber100 here. Alright, and I just wanted to make a video to just talk a little bit about WWE's new Universal Championship. Well, I mean, that name, really? Universal Championship? Seriously, what kind of name is that? I mean, yeah, this is now Raw's world title belt, since, like, the WWE world title is now a part of SmackDown, since this brand extension has started. And, I mean, seriously. What is with that name? Universal Championship? I mean, that's that name is just stupid. I mean, this was really the best they could do, I mean... I mean, remember when they used to have the world titles? I mean, the, when they had WWE Championship and then the World Heavyweight Championship, those two were both really good names. But this, the Universal Championship, I mean, what kind of name is that, honestly? But anyway, that's not what I wanted to talk about. I didn't want to, like, talk about the name of it, and I don't... I wasn't going to talk about, like, the bad start that it's off to now. I mean, just with Finn Balor winning the title at SummerSlam last Sunday, and then um, having to immediately forfeit the title the next night because of injury, and with Kevin Owens winning the title last night on Raw. Yeah, that's not what I'm here to talk about. I'm just here to talk about what, the look of the belt. I mean, seriously, it's the exact same design as the WWE World Championship and also like, the Women's Championship. Seriously, I mean, what is WWE doing with, like, giving each, every championship belt now the exact same design? I mean, when they revealed the WWE, the new WWE World Heavyweight Championship a couple of years ago, the night after SummerSlam in 2014, I mean, it was just fine. I mean, it was the first, it was like a first time belt and it was the first time it looked like this, so... I mean, it wasn't really bothered. I mean, some people say it looks really too generic just with the big WWE logo in the center. But, I mean, it's just fine. It's passable. I mean, when they had this belt the first time, I mean, it really wasn't, it really wasn't that bad. I mean, it really didn't bother me that much. But, yeah. And then they revealed the new WWE Women's Championship this year at WrestleMania. And, yeah... Has the exact same design as the WWE World Championship. Only, like, it has a white strap and it has the red backing in the main plate. Hey, it, and plus it also just says Women's Champion at the bottom of it. And now they have this new WWE Universal Championship. And once again, it is the exact same belt design. I mean, yeah, it's basically just like... It has the opposite colors of the WWE World Championship. I mean, WWE World Championship, it has, like, the black strap and the red swoosh in the WWE logo at, oh, in the main plate. This one, it's just, it's the opposite. I mean, it, this one, it has a red strap for the belt, and the swoosh in the WWE logo is black. I mean, it, oh my gosh. It's like they're just becoming so lazy to make any new designs for belts and they're just sticking to the exact same one i mean now there are three wwe championship belts with this exact same design is wwe going to do this for every new championship belt that they have now or are they just going to give it this exact same design because they're just too lazy to come up with any new design i mean come on i mean I can now see if people are, like, getting tired of this, and, like, people are now really just going to hate the belts now. Because, I mean, it, it's if they just do this, and they have the exact same design for each belt, I mean, it's just going to look so boring, and people are going to get tired of it. And yeah, I didn't actually watch SummerSlam last Sunday. Well, I didn't watch a lot of it. I saw a couple of matches. But, yeah, I heard that this new Universal Championship belt really had a pretty negative response from the crowd because of its design, and I can definitely see why. I mean, I remember when they announced this Universal Championship belt the night after Battleground or whenever it was, when this brand extension started. I was thinking, oh, this could be interesting. I'd like to see how the belt looks. And then, after seeing how it looks, I'm just like, come on. I mean, seriously, is this what WWE is going to do for each new belt they make now? I mean, I've, like, I remember when they had the draft episode, or, like, the night before the draft. 
Stephanie announced that she's going to be bringing the Cruiserweight division back to Raw. And so are they going to create a, another Cruiserweight championship belt? And is, are they going to have the exact same design for that belt too? I mean, I can only imagine what that belt would look like. Probably like a purple strap since, like, with the Cruiserweight Classic show that they now have on the, the WWE Network, it has like a purple background for the logo. I mean, I can only imagine that maybe there would be a purple strap for that belt. Well, then, yeah, I don't even know. Maybe probably a white swoosh in the WWE logo on the main plate. I mean, but seriously, these are just becoming so annoying to see the exact same belt design over and over again. And seriously, I mean, in what... Imagine if, like, WWE just decides to pull all their belts and just give them a completely new title belts. So it's like the Intercontinental title and the U.S. title, the Tag Team titles, all that. Imagine if they just do this exact same thing and just give them the exact same belt over and over with the same designs. I mean, it really doesn't make the titles look very good. I mean, can you imagine if they, like, did this back in the Attitude Era and every Jeremy Meacham belt had, like, the same design? Kind of like just, like, the Big Eagle Championship belt. The whole, I mean... Can you imagine if they just did it back then, and they just had every belt look like the Big Eagle belt, and just, like, place the na title, title of the belt on it, like, if it just said Intercontinental, or European, or Tag Team, or any of that? Imagine if they did it then, I mean, seriously, I mean, belts used to actually have creativity to them, and plus, yeah, belts were really awesome back in the day, like, during the... Hulk Hogan era in the 1980s, and, like, the Attitude Era, of course, and even, like, down the Ruthless Aggression Era. So, yeah, I mean, they are actually have... Yeah, title belts actually used to look cool. Now they're just looking really generic and just... Yeah, now they're just being used over and over again. I mean, this isn't, like, what we've actually seen people do with, like, their belts before. I remember, like, when Ultimate Warrior, like, was the Intercontinental Champion or when he was the WWF Champion, he used to, like, have the belts, but he used to, like, make different, have different stra colored straps for the belt. Like, I remember when he was the Intercontinental Champion, he had, like, a yellow strap for the belt, and during, at one point when he was the WWF Champion, he had, like, a baby blue strap for the belt, and when Sergeant Slaughter was the champion, he also had, like, the purple strap for the belt. And the Intercontinental title, it has had, like, the different colored straps over the years, like, it had a white strap and had the yellow strap. Also had, like, the, uh, also, like, the white strap, of course, and the baby blue strap and everything. So the Intercontinental title, it has a different straps for the belt, but, I mean, it hasn't looked like, they didn't give it, like, the same design as, like, the WWF Championship or anything. Like, the Intercontinental title had its own design, and, yeah, a lot of belts have had their own designs, but just with different colored straps. I remember, like, a, when Elantra Blades was the women's champion, she just had a pink strap for the belt. So, yeah, I mean, they have, like, changed the colors of the straps before, but they haven't actually given every single belt the exact same design, and it looks like that's just what they're going to be doing now. With every single new championship belt that the WWE creates now, they're probably just going to give it the exact same design, and it's based on what we're seeing now, with just, like, the women's championship at WrestleMania, and now this Universal Championship, exact same design as the WWE World Heavyweight Championship belt. So, oh, man... I mean, yeah, I can see if people are... I would un, I understand why people gave the Universal Championship a negative reaction. And, I mean, it's completely understandable. People are getting tired of seeing the same belt designs over and over. I mean, where is the creativity and where's, like, the originality with giving belts and, like, actually creative looks and original looks and all that? So, yeah, just, yeah, I really don't know what else to say about it. So, yeah, I mean, I'll put all three belts, the WWE World title, the Women's title, and the Universal title on the description so you can see for yourself, just like these belts have the exact same design, just like different colors. Yeah, so, I just really don't know what else to say about this. So, yeah, let me know what you think about it. Yeah, I'm kind of, you're probably all, like, probably sick of the same design also. But, yeah, let me know how you feel about it. So, yeah, all I can really say about it. So, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.